Hello my YouTube friend, this is Nam Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 2010 Nissan Altima and what I want to show you today is how to remove the transmission dipstick right here. I didn't know how to do it. The owner of the car actually taught me how to do it so I know someone out there doesn't know how to take it out so I'm going to show you. I can show you from right here but I'm going to remove all this here just fucking show you better so we're going to be removing these two bowls right here one two these are 10 millimeters you can use a a, a screwdriver to get it out i'm going to be using a quarter inch um socket 10 millimeters and i'm just going to just remove it remove both of them once I remove both of them, I'm going to put them in a the safe spot. Next thing you want to do, you want to take out the half of the filter. This is where the filter is at. You have two clips here. One, two, and all you're going to do is pick this up. You're going to pick it up, and it's removed. Put it in the side. Now you can take out that cover, and the way to take out that cover is you just grab it, and it's out. Put it to the side. Now you got access to the transmission dipstick, and it's right here. So now, if you look right inside there, in the transmission dipstick, there's like a like a little plastic that's there, and all you have to do with the plastic is push it in, and it comes up. There it goes right there. So the plastic is right in here, and all you have to do is just push it in, and once you push it in, it comes out let's do it one more time that plastic is stuck right in here in this little groove here so let's do it again you push it down you take the plastic that's in there push it in you can use a flathead screwdriver or something thin and you just push it in and then all you have to do once you push it in it's pick it up and that's how it's removed. So you remove it just like that. And you can check your transmission fluid, the level how it is. Fill it up if you're going to fill it. And then to install everything, you just do it the same way. You have to be careful when you do this because that plastic can break easy. So that's how you remove it. Once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if non-mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.